Uh, Chris Farfoy. I thank you very much, Mr Chair, for uh, being able to speak to uh, Clause 3 of the Hamilton City Council Palmer Park Land Vesting Bill, a bill which uh, seems, uh, will, will aim to give uh, more certainty to the people of Hamilton around the ownership and the use of uh, what they know as Parana Park. Now, I didn't get a chance to... Um, I was deprived of the opportunity to speak uh, to Clause 2. Uh, uh, so I will talk about... Uh, on the commencement of this bill, on the commencement of this bill, I understand that uh, 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 the land comprising more or less of 1.214 hectares and described in computer free freehold register SA128-41 will be uh, officially... Uh, put into the realm of the Hamilton City Council so the good people of Hamilton and those that visit Hamilton can enjoy Parana Park. I also understand that this, uh, that this land is also can be described as lots 1, 2 and 3 of deposited plan 3401 um, and in the commencement I would have said that on that day that land would have uh, officially gone into the realm of the Hamilton City Council. Now being a Wellington member um, I, 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 I don't think I've ever visited what, they, uh, what we're calling uh, Parana Park here. Yes, and uh, my, my good friend and colleague, Sue Maroney, will take me there. Uh, but uh, I believe that this bill will, uh, will also give more certainty to the Hamilton City Council about the way it uh, administers Padana Park. Um, and uh, I think uh, what's important is to look at also around uh, the history of the land with the Hamilton City Council. I understand it was gifted to the people of uh, Hamilton in 1929 by George Parr. Am I correct there, Sue Maroney? I am. I think I am correct. And it was originally gifted to the people of Hamilton, uh, and the, the original purpose was for a playground and convalescent home, but it came, uh, it came uh, to, to being that, uh, that, that wasn't suitable uh, for a convalescent home. Um, so the good people of Hamilton started using it for passive recreation, and uh, that's what is set down in the bill. And I understand uh, that the Hamilton City Council uh, uses it for uh, Anzac Day ceremonies to, uh, to pay respects to our fallen soldiers and also other festivals. And, uh, but as I uh, was thinking about how Hamilton City Council administers Parana Park, I got to wondering what kind of activities that they were trying to encourage there. And I'm sure they'll be thinking of uh, family activities, uh, picnics as such, where families, mums, dads, aunties, uh, grandparents, colleagues and friends got together uh, to enjoy what the Hamilton City Council had uh, and, and what we are here tonight uh, supplying for them. And then I was turning to think uh, of what conversations would be going on there. And if they were having a picnic tonight at Parana Park, administered by the Hamilton City Council, I think they'll probably be talking about maybe the price of petrol and the fact that it's gone up so much and it looks like it's going to go up another five cents. And they'd also be talking about such issues about the cost of living because they were enjoying the outdoor area of Parana Park that the Hamilton City Council, uh, uh, as, as they will, as soon as this bill is commenced, uh, will be able to administer... Um, they'd also be able to talk about something, there'd be increasing talk at Parana Park about uh, what's going on with the government of the member who's actually sponsoring this bill. And under national, that uh, things seem to be going backwards in Hamilton. Oh, and they'll be, they'll be sitting, order, they'll be sitting order, at Parana Park. Interpretation. OK. <laughs> Clause 3 interpretation uh, sets, a, a, you know, sets out the uh, interpretation of uh, the land itself and the Hamilton City Council that will have administrative authority over this park. And as I said, we were wondering what kind of activities would be, at, uh, would be happening at Parana Park. And before I was called up, I just want to make sure that you know, this, this is the kind of thing that the people of Hamilton are want to be assured of that they can do at the park. You know, open, free, political conversation. East government um, is, is, is actually delivering the brighter future as they enjoy Parana Park. And, you know, we're talking about things like whether or not they would leave Hamilton and, 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 and leave, leave Hamilton and the beauty of Parana Park for maybe Australia, as the wage gap between Australia and the jobs in Hamilton uh, seem to grow. And as I say, you know, as I'm sitting there in the, uh, in the Hamilton City Council administered uh, Parana Park. Uh, they could also be talking about how you know they ran into Sue Maroney at Parana Park, what, what, and, and and how the, and how the Labour Party has a, a, a plan for the future. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> That's right. <laughs> but um, I also want to talk about uh, you know, the certainty that this gives the people of, uh, uh, the people of Hamilton. And while this uh, is uh, an uncontentious bill, we on this side of the House think it's worth further investigation, clause by clause. It is such an important piece of legislation for the people of Hamilton uh, that we think that uh, especially the interpretation should be looked at very closely. Yes, it should. It should be looked at very closely. Mr Chair, Mr Chair, Mr Chair. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair.